everybody. This is Suzanne Spooner, QHHT Level 3 Practitioner in Des Moines, Iowa. And I am sharing with you a short clip today. I usually do the full segments or I have been uh, for a while. But this one is, it's just a really short and sweet, emphasis on sweet information that the most amazing client gave. Um, a nice, nice man, young guy. Um, the whole session is worthy of a segment. Uh, so that's not why I'm only doing a small part of it. But this, this part of the session that I'm gonna release today, I'm calling it the Library of Life Review, but it's so much more than that, um, just has some very good information that I think all of us who have lost ones that we loved um, or wonder about what it's like when we pass over, we don't have our memory of that, um, we'll really enjoy this clip. It'll give, um, I think, great peace to the heart. Um, and he's so eloquent. He's just such a dynamic um, client and subject as he's under. Um, so this is short. This is only about 15 minutes long. Maybe down the road we'll release the whole clip. Um, but for now, it's just this beautiful nugget of gold. Uh, I, I say it's the Library of Life Review, which, which he talks about. Um, we kind of start where he has crossed over from the lifetime that he was um, uh, witnessing, being a part of, to um, the point where I just ask him to look around on the spirit side and just tell me, you know, what what does he notice? You know, that's I love that question. It, it um, sometimes he'll just say, you know, oh, it's just you know, there's nothing. I'm just resting, and you know, that's great. And every once in a while, we just get boom into this really cool conversation of of all these amazing um, experiences that that we can have as we cross over. So that's this. Um, he talks about who's there to greet him and and um, the actual mechanics, so to speak, of reviewing the lifetime that he just came from. In that lifetime, he was a woman, and um, that was awesome. You know, sometimes men have a challenge with that, but he did not. He, he just embraced it, and um, it was amazing. Um, so he's talking a little bit about reviewing that life and um, how he does that, and, um, it's, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So he, he goes into this library and anytime a client of mine goes into the library, I am just so excited because there's so much information to gather as we would think in a library. Um, and he uh, takes us through a couple of different scenarios. And um, the, one of the most heartfelt parts of this, I thought, especially in these times that we're in, um, was talking about a, a, a space that souls go to when they've had very, very traumatic lives and when, when their energy has been depleted from the lifetime that they've experienced and how they, um, how they regain their strength and their energy and the, the beautiful ones that um, watch over them. He calls them the watchers. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's a great nugget and it's so quick. So it'll be, um, it'll be a fun journey uh, uh, that you'll go through pretty quickly with me here. So anyways, we hope that you enjoyed. I thank my client so much for allowing me to share this. Um, he was all on board. If it helps anybody else, um, he was so happy to share his experience. So thank you, thank you. All right, you can find me at SuzanneSpoonerQHHT.com and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. And now that you're back on the spirit side, take a look around and tell me what you notice about that. I see all my friends, hmm. all my family members, everyone I have ever lived with are all around me. And they're congratulating me and they're happy for me that I learned the lessons that I went into that life to learn. And I get the sense that they're clapping for me, but I know they're not clapping per se. They're clapping with their energy. Do they have form? They're big balls of light and nice. energy. Nice. And what are you like? How would you describe your, yourself? 
I just feel like light and energy too. And it feels so free. <laughs> I seem to be a, a reddish purplish color. Okay. Do the colors have um, meaning to them? I get the sense that the lighter colors like white and yellow are younger souls, younger spirits. And the darker ones have more experience and are more evolved. Well, and now that you're back th with them in that place, what will you be doing? Getting ready for the next life. And how do you do that? I have to rest first and just process what happened in the last life and just look at the things I did right, the things I could have done better and learn from that. Do you do that on your own or do you have helpers? I used to need a lot more help, but I do it more on my own at this point. I go to the library and look at all the things I did. Tell me what it's like when you go to the library. So much activity, people learning. It's very exciting because we're all here to learn and to evolve and there's no judgment and it's just complete security and knowing that everyone is there for each other. And it's a relief knowing that I know what to do, how to go back and look and learn by myself. It's nice having that independent, independence now. Walk me through how you do that. That sounds so fascinating. It's like this giant building, but it's when you go inside, it's this giant hall with some pillars on the side and what seem to be like tables and desks in the middle. It looks like a library that you would see on Earth. But I go in and there seem to be like these podiums, almost like just a general computer that you can walk up to and download the life that you just lived or any other life, past or future in terms of earth terms and you can just kind of watch it just go fast forward or, or go back in time in terms of the earthly plane and just see the things that happen from different angles and perspectives and feel the emotions that other people have felt in response to the things that you did and you can do that throughout the whole life. And it's very educational. What do you feel like you learned by looking back on it that you may not have known while you're in the life? Just knowing how other people felt from the things I said and did, things I wouldn't have known as a, as a human being because I, I can never know what they, f what they think or what they feel. But going back I, and looking and feeling, this is where I know, this is where I know the effects I have on other people. And it can be, it can be different for different souls. But for me, I, I feel like I did a lot of good in that life and I tried to help people as much as I could. So for me, it's, it's actually a really nice to go back and look and learn. And there, there are different variations of what people felt. Some things I did that were annoying to certain people, but later on they realized that what I said or did was for their good in some way. Other times I gave in to emotion. I, I did have moments where I said or did things that I wish I had not done. 
So it's all, it's all a learning process. So interesting. And when you get ready to choose your next life, can you tell me a little bit about how that process works? There's a room I go to where my guide takes me. And it seems to be sorted down into these three lives that they show me that I can choose from. And I'm standing there in the middle of the room and it's almost like just this theater for one person where they, it's almost like they put it up on a screen, but I think I'm just, they're showing it to me in my mind but I see it like it's on a screen. And I see different possible points in these lives that would be the, the major learning points, the lessons I need to learn. And that's how I, that's how I'm able to decide what I want to do. So it's all your choice? It's ultimately my choice, but my guide guides help me decide I ask for their help and they give me their input what are your guides like there's one that usually guides me and helps me he's my main guide I think it's a he they, they can be anything they want but he presents himself to me as a he he's a uh, he presents, presents himself to me as more of a middle-aged, kind of a friend, but a mentor. Not like an old person, necessarily. He does that so he can be more relatable to me. Just a casual guide. He gives me his two cents and then lets me decide based off of that. Kind of a nice way to make a big decision, it sounds like. Yeah, it doesn't feel as... There isn't as much pressure as there used to be, or as I used to perceive there to be. I know that these are, these are temporary assignments, experiences. It's like going to, going to school and coming home. And while you're in school, it feels like a lifetime because it is <laughs> on the earth plane. But as a soul, I know that it's temporary and it's something we do to better ourselves in advance. That's a great way of looking at it. Anything else about that experience that you want to mention? Oh, just really appreciating there's an area that souls go to if they've had an especially hard life. And I'm always, whether I have to go there or not, I'm always so appreciative of the, the souls that um, watch over that area. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like to be in a place like that? It's very private, and that's the point. When souls have been like tortured or had really hard physical experiences that depleted their energy or damaged their energy in some way, they have to go and recharge or get reshaped in some way. And it's, I, I almost perceive it like a dark room, a, a really big dark room where people are resting and we can all be just anonymous and there are souls that almost appear like hooded hooded monks you can't really see them or know who they are because they themselves are very private individuals but their sole purpose is to watch over the people the souls that are recharging so to speak and to help them get to that point of being able to function again and they are very in tune with how long that takes and 
when each soul is at the point of being ready to go back, they gently wake them up and let them out. And so while they've been resting, how is it that they heal, do you think? The, the watchers are constantly imparting energy through themselves in some way. I don't quite understand how they do it, but they generate this energy and they watch over these souls and they also channel this healing energy into all of them over a long period of time, though not time in the way that we understand it. Time is just a, an expression of change. And then when the watchers wake the soul up, then what happens with the soul? It's almost like just getting reoriented. They, uh, they wake up and then they see the watcher and they know it's time. Some of the younger ones have to be reminded of what they've been doing and that it's time to go back and start planning for their next life. But most people that go into that area know why they're there. And as soon as they wake up, they, they, they just know it's time to go and they're excited to go and feel re rejuvenated and replenished and they now have energy to go back to their their work wow it sounds like a great place of healing for those that had really traumatic lives yes yes because i've been there before and i know what it's like yeah and even when you don't have to go back there you're you said that you're very grateful that that place is there to help others Yes, because without that place, then we wouldn't be able to keep going. And so it's very important that we have these souls that are willing to do this work because it is some of the most important work. What do you understand about the work that a soul does, why they do that going through so many different experiences and lifetimes? We do it to advance ourselves and to seek perfection in every facet of our existence. And we do this over many, many physical lives so that we can reach a point to get back to the source. And that is the goal, to experience, to bring that experience back to the source because we are all from the same source. We go out and get our experience. And we work on that experience and do the best we can. We strive, we struggle, we come back. And every time the idea is that we come back a little bit closer to the source. Nice, thank you so much for explaining that, that's beautiful. Anything else about that that you want to share more about or do you feel like you've covered it all? That is what is important.